Uh, nowadays, uh, the problem of providing broadband wireless access to the networks where objects are moving with an extremely high speed is very essential. Infinite Wireless, the global leader in fixed broadband wireless connectivity, has been analyzing how its solutions could be implemented in these moving networks to improve robustness and reliability in communication services. Therefore, we decided to construct an internal proof of concept demonstrating how various physical effects arising at ultra high speeds affect the stability of radio link, throughput, signal delay, and other radio parameters. Uh, one of the most distinguishable effects is the Doppler effect, a change in frequency and spectrum spreads depending on the speed of motion, and multipass interference when a receiver picks up both useful outgoing signals and a multitude of signals reflected from different objects – trees, poles, and road surface. Prior to field testing, we decided to conduct a simulation to estimate the Doppler effect in theory. The simulation demonstrated that speeds above 300 km per hour greatly impact high modulations, such as QM16 and QM64. We also observed significant distortion of the constellation diagram and a vector error increase. In reality, infinite equipment and OFDM technology provide various corrective mechanisms and the negative impact of multipass interference is perfectly managed by TDMA technology. And we will now explain how this works in practice. The testing is conducted in several stages. To begin with, uh, we use a statically installed base station and a mobile object approaching it with the infilling 2x2 light 5 GHz units installed on both ends. A car acting as a mobile object has two non-MIME antennas fixed on its roof. To achieve the highest stability of radio link, we choose single, that is MISA mod. To reduce the impact of multipass interference, we use the latest version of TDMA software which is always available on our FTP server. Next, a straight section of a new 3.5 km track is selected and its energy parameters are calculated via InfoPlanner, a free cloud-based point-to-point link plan utility. During the experiment we conduct a series of tests at speeds ranging from 60 to 170 km per hour. In each case, the radio link receives a 100 megabits per second load from the traffic generator. Depending on the speed of movement, the tests last from 1 to 4 minutes. During this time, the radio link is as stable as possible, the data transfer rate exceeds 100 megabits per second, and the packet retries value doesn't exceed 5%, which is quite good even for a static radio link. We also conducted several tests to investigate the impact of not only the speed but also the acceleration of the mobile object. During these experiments the car alternately accelerates and slows down. However, we observed that the changes in speed do not cause any link drops or increased radio error. The proof of concept final stage is testing the radio link at speed of up to 340 km per hour. To do this, we use two cars moving towards each other, both with two omnidirectional antennas, installed and traveling at a speed of 170 km per hour, making their relative speed equal to 340 km per hour. The purpose of this stage is to evaluate the influence of various physical effects and to confirm or disprove the associated theoretical concerns. We accelerate the cars to 60, 90, 120, 150 and finally 170 km per hour. Once the specified speed is gained, we monitor if the bitrate is stable, packet retries are normal and throughput is at the required level. We make sure that there are no signs of a decrease in communication quality. Another purpose behind this test is to ensure that time characteristics of the radio link, such as delay and jitter, do not exceed the required limits 
during the experiment and do not negatively affect connection quality. We want to check that we can transfer full HD video with a bitrate as high as 15 megabits per second. What do we see? The video is transmitted over the radio without any fading or issues, meaning that both delay and jitter of the radio link are stable. To sum up, I would like to say that according to the implemented tests, uh, we can conclude that uh, neither speed up to 340 km per hour nor uh, wearable acceleration uh, don't affect on the radial link stability and its throughput. Uh, that's why I'm more than sure that uh, infinite wireless mobile solutions can be used in a wide range of projects, uh, in particular in high-speed trains. Thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel because in the nearest future we're gonna create much more videos and other interesting content. So uh, let's stay in touch. Goodbye.